Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video. In this episode, we're diving into a crucial topic for all aspiring engineers. I'm going to give you 10 actions you can take to decrease distractions while studying for the FE exam. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Let's start with a scenario many of us know too well. You sit down to study, but within minutes, digital distractions pull you away. Your phone starts beeping or buzzing, and before you know it, it's precious study time being lost or thrown away. So how do we avoid this? Let's delve into some effective strategies. I'm gonna give you 10. Number one, eliminate digital distractions. It's essential to switch your phone into airplane mode and turn off all notifications. Using website blockers or productivity apps can also block distractions on your computer. Remember, a disconnected smartphone means a connected mind. Number two, setting realistic study goals and breaking down your tasks. This is another vital step. Use a timer to limit your study sessions and focus intensely for shorter periods. This method helps in reducing the urge to procrastinate and keeps distractions at bay. Check out the Pomodoro technique. It's a game changer. Number three, employing effective study techniques. Techniques like practice problems, flashcards, and teaching concepts to others not only aid in better retention, but also keep your study sessions engaging and dynamic. Also, if you are doing practice problems or a practice exam, do them in a timed atmosphere, similar to the one you will experience on exam day. You must recreate exam-like conditions as often as possible. Number four, seek support from peers or study groups. This action can be incredibly beneficial. Discussing concepts, sharing resources, and holding each other accountable makes the study process more collaborative and less isolated. Number five, incorporate short breaks and physical activity into your study time. Short breaks rejuvenate your mind and enhance your memory retention. Incorporate activities like walking, stretching, or even a quick social media check during these breaks. Number six, maintain a healthy lifestyle during your exam preparation months. Of course, this one is important throughout your life but eating brain-boosting foods and staying hydrated can significantly improve your focus and cognitive abilities during study. Number seven, find an ideal study spot that suits your learning style. Whether it's a quiet corner or a lively cafe, the right environment can make a significant difference. Number eight, wear noise-canceling headphones. For those who find external noises distracting, Wearing headphones can be another game changer. Number nine, practice mindfulness and relaxation techniques. Taking this step can greatly enhance your concentration and overall well being. Techniques like mindful breathing, body scan meditation, or yoga can help center your focus and reduce your stress. I like the Waking Up app by Sam Harris for guided meditations, but there are also many free apps out there as well. Lastly, number 10, reward yourself for achievements. Celebrating small milestones keeps you motivated and acknowledges the hard work that you've put in, and that can keep you going. To wrap us up, these strategies are not just about reducing distractions, they're about optimizing your study sessions to achieve the best possible results in your FE exam. Implement these tips and you'll find yourself studying more efficiently 
and effectively and hopefully passing the FE exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we're going to answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question that you really need answered. We'll pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE Exam.